Hello everyone, I am back with another video, another episode of the series, and this one, oh boy, it's gonna be even longer now because, well, uh, well, we're looking at Johanna Long, who was actually, actually, I think her run was in the Xfinity series was pretty decent, at the time it was a nationwide series, uh, started in 2000, she did it in 2012 and 2013, oh, in 2015, but that's just one start, so we're gonna get straight to it, but. Uh, yeah, so her first starts are going to be in 2012. She had 21 races. Uh, yeah, 21 races in 2012, and then 20 races in 2013. But let's get straight to it. So, uh, Daytona, not much happened. By the way, yeah, so we're going to go through these really quickly because really not much happened. She was just really average. She finished 21st one lap down, and we're going to give her, I'm going to give her a C. It was, I guess, all right. Pretty average. And as far as I know, her team is not really with a great team, per se. It's one of like more of a midfield team. The second race is at Las Vegas. Yeah. So, oh by the way, she only did. Yeah. So only 20 way races. Uh, she didn't fail to qualify for any of them. So except for one in 2015. But that's. I don't know. She finished 19th, two laps down. Uh, I guess well another C performance honestly. She finished higher than at Daytona. So, another C. So, real quick, yeah, we're going to go through these pretty quickly, honestly. So, race uh, three, her third race is at race four at Bristol. And this race, well, she finished 29th, nine laps down. Well, it's Bristol, so it's easy to fall back. I'm um, giving her a D for this one. So, so far, kind of average. Well... Her fourth race is at Texas. It says Fort Worth. Sorry, that's according to Race of Reverence. It says Fort Worth. But it is basically Texas Motor Speedway. So, yeah. She finished 20th, three laps down. Another C. This, oh boy, this one's going to be really average, is it? Well, anyway. So, the next race is uh, at Richmond. I think the next, yeah, the next week. Uh, she finished 20th, two laps down. Another C. I might have to bring it down if things don't improve. Is this C? Is this, so far it's just C's except for that one race, which was a D. So yeah. Uh, so the next race is actually at Talladega, and she only lasted till lap 18. And by the way, I will give credit to the footage. Give credit up on top. Sorry if I didn't do that before. Should have done that in the first two races with Sean Case and Derek Franchitti. Anyway, her race didn't last long. Overheated at lap 18. Yeah, I have given F. My goodness. Uh, yeah, so. And that was the same race with her. So, race 7. Which is the 10th race of 2012 at Iowa. So, she finished 4 laps down. 22nd. Give it another C. I guess that brings it back up. I don't know. That one F brings it down. Runs up. Two laps down there. And then race nine, well, at Michigan. Finished 16th. I'll give her a B this time. At least she finished top 20. Race 10 at Kentucky. Another C. Four laps down. And then race 11 is at Daytona. Sorry, I, there's not much. For, I'd show more footage of her driving, but honestly, she's midfielder. So there's not much to show. So she yeah, finished 12th there. At Chicago, she finished two laps down, 21st, so she's, yeah, very average. In the points, I think she's like 20th around there. At Indianapolis, she's 30th, 10 laps down, now it brings her down to a D. Great. This great. Uh, next race at Iowa, she finished 13th uh, on the lead lap, so yeah, B. That makes her her third lead lap finish so far. Next race at Bristol. 29th, six laps down, gotta give it a D. Next race at Richmond, no oh, man. So I guess something went wrong there. So she wound up smacking the wall and then that pretty much ended the race. At lap 104 of 250. Gotta give this one a D. So, yeah. Okay, next race at Chicago. Very next week, 21st, four laps down. 21st again, that's a lot, 21st place finishes. Next race at Kentucky. 
She actually finished 12th, one lap down, but I'll still give her to B. Nice top 15 finish. At Kansas, she went up crashing, and there was no, yeah, there was like no footage for that one. I couldn't find any. So, yeah, just another D. Race went, uh, next race, Texas. This one was just uneventful. Actually, not really. Actually, she go out for transmission issues, but I have to give her, I have to give her enough for that one. Like, team's just not doing too well. Okay, right, so next race. Oh, at Homestead, uh, she wound up crashing again at one lap, 177 of 200. It was actually footage of it. She wound up losing it and hitting the wall hard. I think she, yeah, she's okay. But, another F, what the, what? that's not a good way to end the season. That's pretty much why I'm giving it an F. So overall, the 2012 campaign was a D, technically. Well, anyway, the next race, uh, at Daytona, and she crashed with six laps to go. This is the one, this was the race with when Kyle Larson went into a fence, injured about 20 spectators. But, yeah, she wound up in that big one. Uh, give it a D. At least she made it, like, near the end. Didn't crash her out, didn't That's crash out early. All right, guys, time to talk about the next race, and it was at Phoenix. So, yeah, she did three straight starts, but Phoenix, she smacked the wall. Oh man, she finished 40th. This is somehow this is actually her worst finish so far. She actually hasn't finished worse than like about 37th, but yep, 70 record. Crash a lap two even. Cause more cars crash. Yeah, give it an F. Yikes. Okay, the next race at Las Vegas. Well, finished 19th, two laps down. Back to being average. Oh great. Yep. And then the next race at Texas, or well, three races later, technically. Uh, give it a D. 27, three laps down. Next race at Richmond is, oh, give it a B. She finished 15th on the lead lap. I think this is the fifth time. I don't know. Lost count. And then the next race at Talladega. Wound up in that big one. Around, I think, lap 92 of 110. And uh, give it a D. I mean, 26. Stay out of trouble for quite a while. And not exactly her fault either. Like, what were those guys doing? So, yeah. Pretty uneventful, but... Or actually, crazy eventful. What am I saying? Guess I'm a bit tired. So, the next race at... Wait, not yet. Well, yeah, there's the D. That pileup, man. I don't know what those guys were doing. It's racing hard. This is the one where they, uh... There was that three-way... Uh, photo finish with R Regan Smith won. So now, anyway, the next race at Charlotte, well, two races later at Charlotte, finished 36, 45 laps down. How? What? Well, this, we know for sure this is before that stupid crash clock became a thing. And I'll, I'll give it an F. How do you finish 45 laps down? Okay. Give it a B. She actually rebound, finished 12th at Iowa, so at least she made up for it. Next race in Michigan, 18th, one lap down. Give it a C. And then at Kentucky, two races later, she finished 20th, uh, two laps down. And that's C as well. Next race to Chicago, 20th, one lap down. Gee, well, at least she improved this time. At Indy, she finished two laps down, 27th. I'll give that one a D. Not much happened. So, uh, yeah. All right, next race, I owe. I owe. <laughs> I, oh, uh, I can't say it right. 19, three laps down. Oh, boy. Uh, Richmond, this time around. She wound up finishing 19th on the lead lap. All right. Next race at Chicago, she's finished 26, three laps down. Uh, give her another D. And next race in Kentucky, well, she finished 16th on the lead lap. I'll give that one a B. She finished, well, at Kansas, she finished 24th, one lap down. And then in the next race at Charlotte, well, actually, yeah, the next race at Charlotte, she finished 17th on the lead lap, so give it a B. Uh, and then the next race at Texas, uh, couldn't find footage on this one, but wound up at lap 49, crashing, or DNFing with a clutch problem. And at Homestead, finished 21st on the lead lap. Ignore the noise back there. So, yeah, that would be it for... Her career, basically, she have one more start where, actually, I'm going to grade that one, too. So, 
So out of her 42 starts, she only finished on the lead lap nine times. I thought it'd be worse. Anyway, so her last race would be with a different team. I forgot their name. And same car as Don Juan Nessie, sort of. So final race at Iowa. Uneventful as well. 27, six laps down. And I'll give her a D. So that wraps up her career. I'm not sure what happened, but she was pretty much out of sport at this point. It's a shame because, honestly, she wasn't that bad. So... I honestly think if she was given a chance with a big team, or a good team, I think she probably would have done better. But final grade overall is a D. Well, a D plus, actually. But, yeah. I guess that wraps up this one. Uh, I changed my mind about how I'm going to do this, actually. I actually have a big list of, like, uh, drivers to do next. If you guys want to suggest something, uh, still want to suggest drivers, you can go on ahead. But, for now, that'll be all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, <sighs> see you again uh, next time.